Integral human development is a new concept which is being used quite a bit today in ethics, even in business practices, certainly in philosophy, also in church teaching. Pope Francis has been using this term more and more. He used the term integral human development, for instance, in his encyclical on social doctrine called Laudato Si, Praise Be, which is a reference to a quote from St. Francis of Assisi, which, in, by which he's, he wanted to communicate that we must all praise God through the beauty and the goodness of his creation. So Laudato Si is this praise that we should raise to God when we see all of creation. Integral human development is a reference to how the human being needs to be promoted integrally, needs to be respected because of the dignity that we have. And the development indicates that this respect for human dignity should also be with looking towards the future, towards human flourishing, human development, human improvement, human perfection. Not just of one, one of us sing singularly, but to the entire community. Not just this community today, but to the community cross generations. It's a fascinating consideration, whereby environmentalism can be linked to respect for creation, respect for nature, and therefore to natural law. In fact, this is exactly what Pope Benedict XVI spoke about in a very important talk that he gave before German Parliament, in which he said, today in Germany, all politicians agree that the environment needs to be respected. So why don't we also consider how the human being is at the very foundation, core, center, and even pinnacle of nature? As Christians, we know that God created man in his image. The human being, man and woman, is at the height, the pinnacle of all creation. All of creation is ordered in a sense to the human being, and the human being has the task and the mission and the gift to order all of creation towards God, towards its perfection. Given all of this, Pope Francis just changed the name of an important office within the Vatican. What used to be the Pontifical Council for Justice and Peace is now called the Dicastery for Integral Human Development. It's a way of reforming the Vatican and Pope Francis is trying to simplify and economize government, but he's also trying to give importance to the human being at the center of creation. He's trying to recover this, objective, this objectivity, this objective respect for nature found in the human being, such that every human life, from natural conception to natural death, be respected because we're at the pinnacle of all of creation. And that this be respected also across generations, so that when we deal with anything in, in nature, in creation, in the environment, we think about our children and our grandchildren. 